At the end of a flume run, the ripple crests emerge as we slowly drain the water. In several experiments, we injected hematite dust to produce internal time markers. Once dried to a soft butter consistency, we can scrape open the clay bed and observe the internal layering. We see down current dipping clinoforms that record lateral migration of ripples. Peeling out dry layers revealed additional detail. The clay between hematite markers show curved ridges that are the four set laminae of compacted flocule ripples. During active deposition, ripples override each other and form a continuous clay bed. The same curved ridge pattern also occurs in current deposited sandstone, and it is in that case called ridge and furrow structure. In close-up, the curved ridges from our flocule ripples show compacted flocules. Our experiments demonstrate that clay deposition starts with migrating flocule ripples, that the interior of the clay bed consists of stacked flocule ripples, and that flocule ripples were still present when experiments were terminated. <laughs>